Hello friends, in our previous lesson, we learned about ray diagrams for concave and convex lens. But it is not possible to remember all the position of images for different positions of objects, right? Now say the object is between focus and the center of curvature. Would you prefer to draw a ray diagram to know how the image would be? Or would you prefer a simple formula that provides all the necessary details about the image formed? Obviously the second one. Let's find that formula. Here is a convex lens. Let us say the distance between optical center O and object is OA. This is called object distance and is denoted by U. Let us say the distance between optical center O and the image formed is OA dash. This is called image distance and is denoted by V. We denote focal length of the lens by F. There is a relationship between these three quantities which is expressed as 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. All distances are measured from optical center O. Imagine that center as origin of a Cartesian graph. All the distance measured in the direction of incident ray from optical center are positive. That is from O to its right side is positive and the opposite direction is negative. It is easier to remember if you remember it is same as XY coordinates concept of Cartesian graph. Ensure you put the right sign in the formula. Like in most of the examples of convex lens where a real inverted image is formed on the other side, U will be represented in negative sign as it is left of O whereas F and V will be in positive sign. However, in this particular case of convex lens when object is placed between focus and optical center O, the image is formed on the same side as object that is to the left of O. So the value of U and V will be negative as it is on the left side of the optical center. And in case of concave lens, the virtual image formed is on the same side as the object. So here V, U and F all will be negative. We will take some real life problems in the next lesson. Bye-bye.